that's uh, to me that's a win. I love all of it. So it's not abuse to me, but at the same time, you know, you gotta be smart. Coach Devin here. People say to me a lot, Devin, what does it take to be fit and uh, to do the stuff you do day in, day out? Uh, it's hard. There's days that it's really hard. Uh, days you don't feel like doing it. Um, anybody who tells you that exercise is easy every day is, is lying to you. Uh, I, I'll be the first one to admit. There are days I don't want to do it. Last night I didn't sleep well. Uh, went to the cheer competition with the girls all day. And uh, I just, I dreamed about cheer competitions all night. Go figure. <laughs> Probably because I've never been to a cheer competition before and I didn't, you know, I didn't know what I was getting into. Uh, but I got up this morning and I knew I hadn't eaten as well yesterday as I, as I would have liked to. Uh, and so I wanted to put in some time and some work today. And as you can see, that's what color my shirt should be. And that's what color my shirt is today. And, uh, and those of you who want to know what I did today, uh, I'm a guy who I don't tell you to, I tell clients all the time, don't, don't abuse yourself with, with fitness. That's not a good idea. Don't try to make up for things. There's always another needle coming along down the road. Uh, you, can, you can always do a little better. If you're smart about it and you just, you know, don't beat the bull fuck. Sometimes I have a hard time with that, but I struggle with it because, uh, you know, I don't, when I eat bad, I want to, I don't want to work that off. And that basically is is how things uh, feel today. Uh, I basically got on an old trusty elliptical and, uh, and I ground out, I did like 800 and uh, I think 60 calories. It's a lot. Uh, I did it on an empty stomach this morning, which is not necessary, you don't have to do that. But yesterday I had some crappy food. There wasn't a lot of food there. I, uh, we went out to eat uh, after the girls competed and uh, you know I just didn't eat what I wanted to eat and I'm not a guy who you know, when you had goals, I'll, uh, I'll go bust on those goals really hard. So you shouldn't do that. <laughs> this is one of those do as you say, not as you do things uh, for me. But I'll tell you right now, um, I feel better now that I did it. But this was tough. And people say, well, what does it take to do it, you know, to get to the shape you're in? It's hard, but really it's only time. I mean, it's just time and effort. I started this thing in January. Uh, I spent a lot of last year trying to get bigger. And stronger. I want to get bigger and stronger, bigger and stronger. Uh, I've always had a bit of a bigger, stronger, bigger, stronger mindset over the years. Uh, it, it comes from, you know, loving bodybuilding and football and, and wanting to be that guy who's who's bigger and stronger than everybody else. And, uh, you know, I spent a year doing that. I got up to like 258 pounds, uh, which, you know, five foot ten is, is pretty, five foot ten and a half. Five foot ten and a half, you can't forget the half. Uh, <laughs> The, you know, it, at, at 258 is really heavy for my height. It's a lot of weight to move around. And I realized at Christmas time, it was time to, uh, to not do that anymore. Uh, I saw a picture of my wife and I out to eat. And, and I was like, okay, Dad, you're looking ridiculous. And I didn't think it was good for me. I liked it. Listen, I loved being able to lift a lot of weight, but I also realized that, you know, things had to change. I couldn't be walking around like that. And I decided I was going to make a change for me. And I was going to, uh, you know, get leaner, and I was going to stay lean. That was going to be my rule. And it's not like I ever walked around fat, you know, or super out of shape. I shouldn't say fat, sorry. Uh, you know, it's not like I walked around super out of shape. Uh, but at 258, boy, I can't, you know, you can't run at 258. I move a lot of weight, but you can't do a lot of other things. And I was just thick, you know, I was just thick. I had abs, but I was thick. And uh, at times, I looked like I had a belly. I didn't like that. It, uh, it got in my head. It didn't make me feel real good. Um, so I decided, you know, I'm going to drop some weight. I started about 250, 251 or so, give or take. And uh, I weighed in uh, Friday morning at, at 223. So, you know, I'm down about 28 pounds. And, uh, and I think I'll just, you know, I'm going to get leaner from now on out. Uh, I guess I'm going to wash my food for a bit and I'll be a knucklehead. <laughs> Not try to gain weight again. I don't think I'll go over 230 again. Uh, I think that's, you know, heavy enough for, for me. <laughs> I'm getting old. But the big thing to remember here is uh, it's not about abuse. Uh, today, even when I'm telling you, you know, I'm a guy who didn't eat well yesterday, so I was grounding down and doing some extra today because of it. That wasn't, that's not abusive for me. That's not punishing myself. That's making up for lost time. That's what that is. It is making up for lost time. I like it. 
I like the challenge. I like being able to say, you know, I, I just wrecked it. I love feeling like this, where I'm this way, like that, where there's hardly any spots on my shirt that aren't soaked. I like that stuff. And to me, that's, that's accomplishing something. That's accomplishing your day. That's, uh, to me, that's a win. I love all of it. So it's not abuse to me, but at the same time, you know, you gotta be smart. It's easy to get in your head and start thinking, you know, do more, 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 more. I won't do that this week. You know, I put in a ton of time today and a lot of work today. Uh, but going forward, you know, the rest of the week, I'll be back to 20 minutes of cardio in the morning. You don't have to kill yourself, guys. You don't have to kill yourself every day. Uh, just, you know, only do it because you love it. We do it because we love it. I do it because I love it. I don't do it because I want to abuse myself. I do it because I... I love what I do, and I love the feeling of this afterwards. And during it, do I feel like I do? Oh, golly, no. God damn, I didn't feel like doing any of this today. I wonder why in bed I was tired. But I'm damn happy I did it now. Uh, there's not too many people. I don't think there's anybody out there that's like, why are we, I wish I hadn't done that workout. <laughs> there's, there's just nobody out there. You don't do a workout and then say, boy, I wish I hadn't done that workout. Even if it's the hardest thing you've done. You don't, you don't say you did, wish you didn't do it. You're, you're happy you did it. So that's where it boils down to. You know what? Don't abuse yourself. Put in the time. If you need to put in a little extra time on a day, that's okay. That's fine. But don't think of it as abuse. I don't think it's abuse. I think of it as I get to work out. This time a year, uh, two years ago, you know, I was going into the hospital, very sick, staph infection, almost died. Every day is a win. <laughs> every day is a win. You know, hug your family, love your family, and uh, and every day is a win to to do better, to be happy, uh, because you know. It'd be all taken away from you tomorrow if you're not smart about it. So don't abuse yourself. Revel in it. Enjoy it. Enjoy what you do. Even when it's hard, enjoy what you do, guys. Hope you everybody's having a great Sunday. Take care. Don't fight the awesome.